here uh, to regale us with what happened yesterday. <laughs> Start we, regaling. We could use some regaling. Yes, <laughs> galing and regaling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't have answers. You must. So somebody does, and it must be you. Well, I mean, they, it's not like they lost by 40 points, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know that anybody expected what happened, especially after the first drive, the um, when they just went right down the field and looked like everyone imagined they would look. Right. And right. then, but that was the high point of the day, and then the rest of it was mostly just the referees picking up their flags. And correctly, by the way, is yeah. there any problem with any calls? There's there's a new rule we didn't know about. We learned about it yesterday. Yeah. But 18, 18 uh, uh, penalties. And uh, a couple that were declined, or two on the same play. So two on the same play. That was my favorite one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like that's you, a category. Your favorite call. You, you give the opponent. Uh, uh, you give the opponent their choice of. It's like the which order fifteen of yards. Choice. You know, which one would you prefer? <laughs> right. You know, they, they go, and uh, that one is declined. Everybody goes, yay, yay, <laughs> but the next one is not. So. Yeah, that's like the old Casey Stengel story where uh, when he was with the Mets and the, Marv Thronberry got thrown out, uh, he got called out for missing second base, right. and he, in case you went out to argue it, and one of the umpires said, save your breath, Casey, he missed first base, too. <laughs> so we just called him out <laughs> yeah. on second base. 216 <laughs> is the number to call. Jim Ingram is here. Uh, normally, Jim, uh, one of the great baseball analysts here in Northeast Ohio, but I don't think there's much to talk about. No, and yeah, I mean, that, that's, that, that was one of the, I don't know what was more shocking, that they lost or how they lost. I mean, you, you thought, I mean, I thought, everyone, I think, probably thought there was a pretty good chance they were going to win the game. But, you know, lose a game where you have like 18 penalties and, and just like nothing went right after that first drive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the Browns had 18 penalties, haven't had that many since the game in 1951. And by the way, they won that game. Which is amazing. Yeah. I'd like to see the film of that game. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they didn't have film yet. Yeah, since yeah. So we'll just take it at a second-hand hearsay. How, as a fan, here, here you go. This is the Titans versus the Browns yesterday. Uh, passing yards, 216 for um, uh, Mariota, 244 for Baker Mayfield. Rushing yards, 123 to 102. When, when you just look at, at these numbers, if you try to analyze the game or figure out what happened when you didn't see the game, until you get to the bottom with the penalties, it's about an, it looks like about, you know, 21 to 17 game. Yeah, yeah, it does. It, although, you know, when you get to the bottom, you see that not just the 18 penalties, but the 182 yards. And right. They had almost twice as many penalty yards as rushing yards. Yeah, you'd be happy with 180 passing yards in the first half, I yeah, would think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it got comical after a while. I mean, like every single play, there, there was like... How much well, a penalty. as a fan, and I, I saw you in the press box, I was there for a while, and then I went out, out into the stands uh, to, to uh, some people who had some tickets. And to me as a fan, and I can only imagine what it's like as a player, when Seibert missed that extra point, it's like the balloon, the air in the balloon came out. It, it shouldn't have. They're still up six. But when they, they pushed down the field uh, just nonstop, the, the momentum was taken away on the missed extra point, I think. Well, I don't know if I would say that as much as I think that first drive was just so easy and so spectacular that they it was almost like the, the players thought, well, we're really as good as we think we are. And this is just going to be a cakewalk. Right. And then the rest of the game, it was anything but a cakewalk. Yeah. This segment of More Sports and Less Levine brought to you by the Ohio Lottery. All right. The cyber misses the extra point, which which is almost I don't know. I want to. Say, I don't want to say it was expected because the, there was so much emphasis on who was going to get the job and the fact that he was the guy who was drafted. But it's almost like everybody's fears came to life at that point. Well, it was a reminder that that you, you, we've got two kickers this year, and you know there's, we're going to have this great team supposedly, and two rookie kickers, which doesn't happen a lot for for teams in any state of rebuilding. And then to miss your first extra point when you're you know a kicker trying to prove that you belong is not a real good start maybe gilbert wasn't it wasn't that far away they can just call him on the phone and say come on down in the you'll start kicking in the second half <laughs> where are you are you in the facility <laughs> hey, we made a mistake we're not upset anymore <laughs> unbelievable also baker mayfield unlikely threw for three interceptions whose fault was that well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, a couple of them were, were really bad ones. Uh, there might have been one that was not so bad. But, yeah, I mean, he was as part of, the, you know, the biggest part of the problem is, is others. And I will say, though, that, you know, he was running for his life for most of the, right. the, 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 the game. And 
just just I, I, the contrast between that first drive when it looked like there was almost no defense out right. there, and then the re whole rest of the game was like two different teams. And I, I just think they got after the first drive. I think they really did buy in totally to the hype that we're really really good and. We can just do what we want. We'll still Freddie, win this game. Freddie Kitchens actually defended his uh, offensive lineman. He had the the one case where they a, a kick, which was denied by the player. Um, can't. I mean, that's that's ludicrous to deny it. It was clear what he did. Yeah. But it it started off a chain reaction. Uh, the re and then Lamb gets hurt. He was only in three or four plays and. Uh, you're up to seven linemen being used, and that that's not good. Yeah, I mean, you went into the game knowing your your offensive line was <clears throat> probably going to be the, the biggest question mark going into the season. Right. And then you start getting one of them gets thrown out, and another one gets injured, and so a thin line is even thinner still. And from that point on, it was pretty much just every man for himself on offense. Let's take a look at what some.